All right, thanks for joining us again today. This is Drago. Welcome back to more Starfield. We are, we've just landed on Kila City. Should ask Sam about Aquila sometime. He has some pretty amazing stories to tell. All right, Sam. All right, we're here. You ready? Because once we get started, I'm going to be riding your tail till this is over. <laughs> Let's get going. There's uh, something you should know up front. I'm a co. As in Solomon Co, first man on Aquila. That tale I mentioned before, the one I think is connected to an artifact, it's something of a family legend. After Planetfall, Solomon spent years mapping Aquila, and he found a tiny little patch of nothing on his sensors. The kind of nothing an artifact produces. He called it the Empty Nest said it was a place even the wildlife of Aquila wouldn't go. Well... Oh, can I... can I... yeah. Ah, <sighs> okay, okay. Smartass. This is why I don't like bringing it up. Solomon's maps are locked up tight in the local gal bank. We'll be heading there. All right. Ship services. Yeah, this place definitely has a old west vibe to it. Hold it. By order of Marshal Daniel Blake, I need to inform you we've got some trouble at Gal Bank. Folks might be in danger, so you may want to steer clear. Never a dull moment around here. I know you. You're Sam Coe. The Marshal will be damn glad to have another Free Star Ranger helping out. Afraid your information is a couple years out of date. I guess that'd be the Marshal's call. Frankly, it ain't going well. Looks to be a stalemate. Oh, Maybe a little well. outside help will do some good. Well, I doubt those robbers are going to let us leisurely peruse the Galbank vault. We better see if we can help move the situation along. Oh, we're gonna move it along, all right. You got me. If you make a move toward the building, a hostage dies. You planning to tell me your demands at some point? You find someone we can trust, and maybe we will. All right. Like who? Security around not here you. is a joke. Not one of your rangers, and not these city guards neither. <sighs> what the hell am I supposed to do with that? Talk to me. You need to stand back now. I don't mean to be rude, but I don't know you. Now please, stand back. Aquila City at its finest, I see. Never a dull moment. Well, I'll be damned. Sam Cole. Been a long time. I won't hold my breath about you being here to take the badge again. Uh, listen, Sam, just so you know, I don't blame you for how it went down. For the others, though, you might get a different reception. Thanks. I appreciate you saying so. But I figure some of that reception is owed. Still, I appreciate the sentiment, Marshal. It seems you got a situation. My friend here may be the answer you're looking for. All yes, right, Sam. Yes, I am. I'll trust your judgment on We're this bad one. Ass. Some folks from the Shaw Gang tried to rob the place, but they got spotted by a guard. They took everyone inside hostage, and now they're keeping a watch so we can't move against them. They're using the intercom to communicate. They won't talk to me. Say they don't trust the badge. <laughs> they want a neutral negotiator. I'm a neutral negotiator. In other words, they didn't have a plan for this, so they're stalling while they come up with one. I'm a neutral negotiator up to the point where I pull out my gun and shoot them. It might come to that, but first, I just want you to talk to them. Find out what they want, and then report back to me. Take it slow and steady. 
Look for every opportunity to de-escalate. You got this. All right. You in the bank. I'm sending in a negotiator, so don't shoot. Hands where I can see him. Gangs and making fools of us all. Negotiator, huh? If you think you're just gonna walk up here and get us to surrender, you're dead wrong. You might just be dead. We'll cooperate when we get what we want. So tell me, stranger, how do I know you're gonna deal straight with us? <laughs> I don't know you, so why should your word mean anything to me? Well, I guess you have a point. you are. <clears throat> I ain't buying it. Nothing you say is gonna change my mind, so let's just move uh. on. We want to guarantee a safe passage to the spaceport and a ship. Drop the hostages off somewhere safe in the system. After that, we'll radio back where they are, and the Marshal and his crew can come and get them. But if anybody follows us when we break orbit, we start shooting people. Got it? It's a pretty tall order. Then persuade the Marshal that it ain't. <clears throat> this whole damn job's gone wrong. It was supposed to be just a quick hit. Clean is simple, you know? So let's just... Let's all try to keep our heads, yeah? Because my guys, they're going crazy in here. I don't know how much longer we can last. Yeah, let's try this again. What do you mean? Marshall might take us down, but we'll take down some of his on the way. I promise you that. Damn it. I didn't think of it that way. Yeah, no, you didn't. If the hostages die, it'll be the Marshal's fault for not taking us seriously. Oh, the situation is nah, difficult. It's too late to back out now. We're seeing this through. You go tell the marshal to get that ship ready so we can all walk away from this thing without anybody getting hurt. Yeah, guess we're getting into a firefight. You've got my girlfriend in there. If she gets hurt, hit. I heard every word. <clears throat> He's talking too loud. Sign of fatigue. All that fear and exhaustion are taking a toll. They're not thinking straight. Uh, they're definitely not that thinking straight. That puts us in a very precarious position. I think I should go back and talk to him again. Nah, you'd be wasting your time. Or worse, it'd make them angry. No sense risking that. 
I appreciate your idealism, but there were only ever two ways this could end. You've already ruled out one of them, so that leaves us with only one option. We have to free the hostages by taking out their captain. Shoot a shoot time. Problem is, they're keeping me and the guards in sight at all times. If we try to move against them, they'll see us coming. Shoot a shoot time. You'd be willing to do that? You've got guts, that's for damn sure. I can't deny that you're right, though. They might not see that coming. Now, I see two ways we can play this. You could ask to see the hostages. And once you're inside, you can make your move. I like that. If you're quick, I think you can take them out before they have a chance to respond. But you'll have to shoot to kill. There's also a back door. Most of their attention's focused out front here, so they may not be watching it as closely. This key should unlock it. Ooh, which way to go? Okay, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna save this right here. See when you see the hostages. Try this way first. What the marshal say? We have a deal. I guess that'd be all right. You're gonna need to ditch that weapon first. Ain't no way I'm letting you in here armed. Fine, but make it quick. <laughs> Yes, you would. I suppose I can see the sense in that. Oh, I hope this works. Get some more first. Follow me. They're in the vault down there. Hey, the negotiator's coming down to check the hostages. Out of here. I hate this place. Should have been long gone by now. Can't take much more of this. We won't be able to find Solomon's maps with those robbers crowding the bank. 
Next time. Where's the good stuff, old man? I know you got something valuable stashed away in here. Don't you lie to me now. <sighs> yes? You don't understand. The vault is for storing what? priceless heirlooms and relics from Aquila City's proud history. Shut up! You're wasting my time and I'm sick of it! I'm gonna count yeah, to five. Yeah, yeah. And if you ain't mm -hmm. told me what I want to know, I'm gonna blow your head off. <clears throat> I'm telling you the truth. Please. I have a wife. Five, four, three, two, one. Never coming back to this rock. back home. Dead ain't glamorous, but it sure is profitable. Lost two hostages. Thank you so much. Nice work. They've got the marshal by the ball. You all right? You and I both. Don't know if it'll mean much to you, but you've got my gratitude. Here, you've more than earned this. You got us out of a tough spot, and you did it with courage that's not common. As a matter of fact, you might just be Free Star Ranger material. I just might be. If you're interested, head on over to the Rock and ask for Emma Wilcox. She handles the new recruits. All right. Now that lives aren't on the line, let's get well, back into our max. Well done, Deep. Well done. Well We can find Sam. All right. The family has a few different deposit boxes secured in here, so let's look around. Here's a copy of the key. Okay, now remember, Solomon was from an earlier generation, so it's not going to be on a slate. Big bundles of paper is what we're after. I know which one I'm looking for. I just gotta open them. All right, let's see. How do I? How do I know what lockbox I'm looking for? I'm 
we're at the wrong mission. We're already there. that old mule saw this coming. He's just a bitter old man, interfering in what's none of his business. Sounds like us with the uh, hostages. That we do. I was hoping to avoid the estate when we landed. Cora's gonna be so mad. We really got to do this. You're not wrong. It's not supposed to be your business. That's what I'm saying. <sighs> Look, I'm done talking. You'll find uh, out soon enough, okay? Let's just get going. I think we need to bubble up. We need to level up. Season three speech challenges. We have not been doing that very good job of that. finally decides to darken our doorstep again. You know why I'm here. Oh? And what's that? You come to your senses? Realize where you ought to be for once? I ain't asking again. You ain't asked once. Let's hear it. I want you to say the words about what's more important to you than family. Okay, this was a mistake. The only mistake I'm seeing here is you. Bringing your constellation lackey here instead of my granddaughter. Come to help Sam loot his ancestry? You're not getting those maps. Full stop. Oh, what a jerk. Nothing's more important than family. Nothing. If Sam had stuck around, he'd know that. You wouldn't be here. All right, that's enough. Come on, let's you and I talk. In private. Hmm. Welcome home, Sam. Make your visit short, okay? It's what you do. I don't know about you, 
But a fella could do a lot worse in Constellation. Yeah, like that guy. Give me a sec. <sighs> All right, let's talk options. I don't want to bring Cora into it yet. You're flying in the face of my 30 plus years experience with the man, but all right. I hope you like arguing. Sam's constellation lackey here to bother me again? Yeah. You mean besides the fact that you're some independent group that doesn't know where your loyalties lie? Or are you referring to the fact that my granddaughter lives in your clubhouse rather than in her family home? Oh, okay. Well, that's not your decision, is it? It's co-property by birthright. It stays here. You really believe that, don't you? Yes. Can't disagree that Solomon was an explorer. I'll admit. Can't believe I'm saying this. But if I'll get you out of my hair, then fine. You can have the maps. They're in the other room, here. Key. Oh, I want the jack. Hey. Can I tell him thank you? No, he left. Oh, he's, he's talking. You have what you wanted. Now off with you. Us Coes have been in government for generations, making sure the Free Star Collective is run the right way. Getting said government to do anything worthwhile is like hurting Ashta. Takes perseverance, compromise, and above all, respect. Oh, I bet it does. You try to groom your successors. But wisdom's often wasted on the young. Was that a subtle dig, Jacob? It wasn't meant to be subtle, son. <laughs> huh. I did my part, and then some. Back in my day, we tackled some whoppers. The colony wars damn near wrecked our economy. Took years of dedicated work every day wondering if the whole financial system was going to crater on our watch. But we got it done. Damn near had a nervous breakdown. <laughs> Best of <laughs> true life. life. Might be you're not too bad yourself. Well, I doubt you came to hear me wax poetic. What do you need? Hell no. I've got no control over the actions of those who came before me, and I don't feel beholden to them either. That's the way it should Solomon be. Solomon was a true pioneer and a risk taker. I respect that. But I'm not him. I'm a man who appreciates the simpler joys in life. I'm no thrill seeker, and I don't feel like I need to make my mark on the world. A highball of good whiskey and a sunset to watch it with. It's all the accomplishment I need. Of course. Of course. Solomon Coe was a great man, no doubt about it. If it weren't for him, there'd be no Aquila City and probably no Free Star Collective either. And of course, the name comes with certain benefits around town if you catch my meaning. I never turned down a free drink in Solomon's honor. Should it come my way. No. Oh. I guess it was nice talking with you. 
don't have any more of my time to waste with you. Well, you take care of yourself. All right, let's see if we can find the empty nest. All right, let me think. The way I heard it, the readings he was getting were normal at first, then they bottomed out. And no creature, alien or otherwise, would dare step inside. There. Found it. Oh, boy. <sighs> That's a problem. Yeah, we can handle it. Well, you ain't wrong. But let's take a look at what we're up against. First, it's in the middle of the frontier, which we already expected. No problems there, but the usual tussling with alien wildlife. But the empty nest is a cave right in the middle of Shawgang territory. Same outlaws who held up Galbank. More shooty shoot. Well, just remember, it's about the artifact, not them. Hurting bad guys puts a smile on your face, that's a bonus. Let's get to that cave. To the cave we go. Oh, you got a basement too? Got anything good down here? That's a bathroom, man. Walk in, shower like that. Yeah. All right, let's go. Oh, I missed one. Well, it sounds like we are going to be getting into more gunfight. We've got a long way to go. Deputized before we do this? So we're gonna have a house bomb? That's what Mr. Tate is working on. We'll have to move out when construction begins. Don't even think about leaving the city. Asta out there. Ugh, I hate instantly putting on the pounds like this. Hi, ah, how you doing? I thought about leaving. I'm leaving. Well, we might as well pick some stuff up while we're here. I guess. I don't know.
Well, the bright side is I'm not seeing any aliens yet. Not seeing any shock any either. I got, okay, I guess downside, not seeing any aliens yet. Hope you find what you're looking for. That's the emptiness. What's that? It's a cave. Giant. It's like a giant praying mantis. Exactly what it is. I wonder what flavor of smuggler lives here. <laughs> Maybe cherry vanilla? Yeah, that sounds about right.
Today's not gonna be your day, pal. We got it. We got this. One turn down. Get it than someone else.
We need more aid. turn. And we are not doing so good on uh, health right now. aid supplies. don't have any health kits anywhere what kind of outlaws are these guys favorite part. You messed with me! Where'd you go? Damn it! Now this ain't over. Not long, they don't need it. Welcome to our little camp. It doesn't look like much, but if I know you'll find a place for yourself. Turn on beats living under the thumb of the Free Star Guards. Plus, the Ashta don't come around here, so outside of Kila, this might be the safest place on the planet. Strong to be the hero of my life for the station will be held by anyone else who's paid as much show to begin my life, beginning of my life. I record that I was born, as I have been informed and believed, on a Friday at 12 o'clock at night, 
it was remarked that the clock began to strike and I began to cry on the pains. First published as a serial from 1949 to 1950, Charles Dickens' David Copperfield tells the tale of a man with back in life and they to shape him. Frag grenades are absolutely welcome. Health kit would be nice. Congratulations, you have noticed that our fridge is empty. You must be very thirsty in the strike here the heat. I know I am. I'm sure your friends are too. The task set before you now is to go into town and get some more beer. see anybody else. Oh, signal. Oh, robot controlling. Oh. Could have used a robot to wipe them out. Oh god, there's more guys down here.
this is intense. Really, not have any health kits anywhere. We don't have, we really don't have health for this. All right, what we're gonna do, we're gonna eat, we're gonna try to bring up some of our health. <sighs> Grab everything useful. Yeah, there's a lot of useful stuff, but nothing that I I need. I need health, man. We should bring Cora back here sometime. Tell ghost stories. I think she's still into that. Is.
Well, it seems like we're past the back end. There it is. You've done this before, right? Can you do the honors? Find any more of that shaw gain. I am not gonna be in a good place health wise. Spelunking can be a lot of fun. Nature can be just beautiful. Look at that cobalt. I don't think they have. That probably just takes us back. Okay. Toxic gas pump. Yeah, we'll take that. Not a single health kit. I think that's far enough. Hate to put a hole in the head of Aquila's own prodigal son. At least not before we've had a word. Oh boy. You must be Shaw. What I am is disappointed. Samco in the flesh and he's peddling around the frontier with the has-beens of Constellation. Now you got past my crew, who I pay quite handsomely, I might add. Grabbed something from that weird cave. Probably whatever's been keeping the Ashta away. So... I'm down one hideout. Uh -huh. Now, let's talk about what all that's worth to me. Your lives, your credits. One or the other, really. Oh, really? Let's hear it. Don't bullshit me, Constellation. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so what? By morning tomorrow, we're gone anyway. Crap. Wow. 
I prefer my enemies six feet under. Ties up loose ends. Sick of trading words with you. Kill them! Oh, I don't have the help for this. We're gonna try to persuade him okay. before we come out. Got an idea. <laughs> we really don't have the health for this. I think that's far enough. Hate to put a hole in the head of Akila's own prodigal son. Least not before we've had a word. You must be Shaw. What I am is disappointed. Samco in the flesh and he's peddling around the frontier with the has-beens of Constellation. Yep. Now you got past my crew. I'm not a has-been, I'm brand new. I pay quite handsomely, I might add. Grabbed something from that weird cave. Probably whatever's been keeping the ash to away. So, I'm down one hideout. Now, let's talk about what all that's worth to me. Your lives, your credits. One or the other, really. Oh, man, I'm thinking about it. Oh, really? Let's hear it. Nobody wants that. Don't bullshit me, Constellation. <laughs> Tough talk. But you've backed it up so far, I'll admit. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> Fine. Get the hell out of here before I change my mind. Can't believe I talked myself out of two fights. I see you again. You're dead. Boss, it's the Ashta. You. This is your fault. You better lend us a hand. Now we're in business. I need health. Okay, we've got a new gun that we're going to try out, though. Oh. Yeah, let's give this a shot. Stuff up. Okay. Crap one. Mercy. We're gonna stay up high because we have like no freaking health. I owe you something for dealing with the Ashta. Get out of here before I change my mind. All right, let's get back to the lodge. Lucky it's not my call. I would have blasted the both of you.
Yes. Or is it... We're in one piece. I'll call that a win. Let's get back to the lodge. <laughs> Nibbles the comedy eating bunny. That's funny. All right. Oh nope. I wanted to. I wanted to go to this far map. Artifact in. This episode is a little bit longer, but I think it was well worth it. Oh, I need, I need to heal. I am at your We're service, back. Captain. The newest member of our little family really pulled through for us. Just. What are we building here? I haven't picked up any kind of frequency or signal coming from it. That doesn't mean much. This thing could be emitting something we can't even detect. That's as true. As we know, we could be building a gigantic bomb that will blow up as soon as we finish it. Or maybe it's some kind of interstellar children's toy. I like that option. Why would either of those things give the discoverer visions and music? It's a message. I'm sure of it. We just have to hope that finding more of the pieces will give us some clue. I hear that. Moving forward sometimes means fumbling around in the dark. I think Cora and I can use some downtime, but you let me know if you ever want to team up again. Oh, and since it tends to come up, me and my Rugrat co-pilot work as a team. That's non-negotiable. If I'm coming with, that means Cora's on your ship. Fine with me. Likewise. You know where to find us. Have any new books for me? Oh, I can give books yeah, to Cora. Cool. cool. Okay, I need to find my room. I am at your service, my health Captain. Work. Cool. All right, guys, we're going to call this one here. Thanks for joining us. Um, next episode, let's see what mission we're going to try to go after. Uh, we're not going to do the deputized. We don't, we need to go do that. Still need to figure out the... Uh, We'll figure we're gonna I think we'll do a couple of side missions next time and then uh, do a couple maybe get back into the main quest do some more exploring so I think that's where we're gonna end this one here guys thanks for joining us today and we will see you in the next one <laughs>